everyone, this is Jay Kalina here. In this video, we are going to solve the given higher order linear differential equation problem. So, let's get going. Solve dq plus 3d square plus 3d plus 1 into y equals to 0. Solution. We are already given equation in operator form, right? Given differential equation. dq plus 3d square plus 3d plus 1 into y equals to 0 which is in operator form f of d into y equals to 0. Again by comparing these two we will get f of d where f of d equals to dq plus 3d square plus 3d plus 1. Right. Now, we will write the degree and order or order and degree of the given differential equation. So, we know that d represents d by dx. Right. So, we can write the above equation or the given equation as d cube by dx cube plus 3d square by dx square plus 3 into d by dx plus 1 into y equals to 0. Again, we will get d cube y by dx cube plus 3 into d square y d square y by dx square plus 3 into d by by dx plus y equals to 0. So, here our highest derivative is d cube y by dx cube. So, the order will be 3. So, the degree is highest power of the highest derivative. Right? So, here the power of the highest derivative is 1. We don't have 2, 3 highest derivatives here. Right? We have only 1 highest derivative. So, the degree is 1. If we have some one more term say d cube y by dx cube power some 2 or 4 something. Then, we will choose 4 as a degree because this is the highest power of the highest derivative. Right? Now coming to the problem. So now we will find the general solution to the given equation using auxiliary equation. We know that the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to, you will get f of m by replacing differential operator t by m. Then you will get m cube plus 3m square plus 3m plus 1. Okay. Then auxiliary equation will be m cube plus 3m square plus 3m plus 1 equals to 0. Now we need to find the roots to write the general solution roots of the auxiliary equation to find or to write the general solution to the given equation. So, this is the auxiliary equation, right? So, now we will use synthetic division and if we can solve or find roots using factorization, you can use factorization method. So now, let's consider polynomial m cube plus 3m square plus 3m plus 1. Now, we'll find the rules to the auxiliary equation using synthetic division method. Okay. 
will choose the suitable M. We will see which M satisfies the polynomial or the corresponding polynomial I can say. Okay. So let's see which M satisfies this polynomial. Firstly, let's try for M equals to 1. 1 cube plus 3 into 1 square plus 3 into 1 plus 1. From this you'll get 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1. 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, which is not equal to 0. So from this we can say that m equals to 1 does not satisfy this polynomial. Now let's go for minus 1. We'll just try for minus 1. We'll get minus 1 whole cube minus 1 plus 3 into 1, 3 plus into minus minus 3 plus 1. So here we got 0. So from this we can say that m equals to minus 1 satisfies this polynomial. Right? So now coming to the synthetic division method. Firstly, We'll just write the quotients in the correct place. Okay. 1 in the sense 1 into m power 0. Right. So the quotient of m power 0 is 1. Quotient of m power 1, 3. Quotient of m square, 3. Quotient of m cube, 1. Since m equals to minus 1 satisfies this polynomial. So we'll choose minus 1 here. 1 plus 0, 1. Minus 1 into this is 1, not 0, okay? Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 into minus 1, minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. 1 and minus 1 becomes 0, okay? Again, here you'll get a polynomial. m square plus 2m plus 1, right? m square plus 2m plus 1. So now, here there is a possibility of finding factors using factorization method, right? You can just write this as m plus 1 whole square, which is m plus 1 into m plus 1, right? We got factors from this or the polynomial obtained from these three numbers, right? Either you can do like this or split 2m as m plus 1. Now take m common from the first two terms. You'll get m times m plus 1 plus write these two as this. You'll get m plus 1. Now take m plus 1 common from these two terms. You'll get m plus 1 times m plus 1. Right? So, it's not necessary to go or to continue the process in the synthetic division. Okay. Either you can do like this. Then you will get here for m equals to minus 1. We have solved the first step. Right. If m equals to minus 1, you will get m plus 1 equals to 0. Where m plus 1 is one factor. So you can write this polynomial as m plus 1 into the factors obtained from the second polynomial. m plus 1 into m plus 1 equals to 0. So let's see what happens if you multiply all these three factors. m plus 1 into m plus 1 into m plus 1. You are having m plus 1 into m plus 1 into m plus 1. You can write this as m plus 1 whole cube. So you can expand this using the formula a plus b whole cube which is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b or simply you can multiply. You will get m cube plus 1 cube plus 3 into 1 into 1 into 
m plus 1 which is m plus 1 plus 3 times m plus 1 right which is equals to m plus 1 sorry m cube plus 1 plus 3 m plus 3 into 1 3 right see m cube So here you will have m not 1, sorry. Okay, now we'll get 3m into m is m square. 3m square plus 3m into 1 is 3m. We'll get m cube plus 3m square plus 3m plus 1, right? So we can express this polynomial with product of 3 factors or We'll just continue the synthetic division process. Okay, now let's see which M satisfies this polynomial. So if you notice, you are having all are positive. So it cannot be satisfied by M equals to 1. Let's go for M equals to minus 1. Then you'll get minus 1 square plus 2 into minus 1 plus 1, which is equals to minus 1 square is 1 plus into minus minus 2 plus 1 which is equals to 1 plus 1 2 minus 2 which is equals to 0. So m equals to minus 1 satisfies the polynomial right. So for m equals to minus 1 1 plus 0 1 minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 minus 1 into 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 is again 0. So here you will get one factor directly you can say that you will get one factor from this that is m plus 1 okay or what happens if you get the factor m plus 1 from this see here we are having m equals to minus 1 right from this we will get m plus 1 equals to 0. Again, m plus 1 is one more factor and this is also one more factor. So, you can express this polynomial by product of m plus 1 into m plus 1 into m plus 1. All the three factors. Okay. Or, you can just go for one more step. Here you got m plus 1, right? So, by seeing this, you can say that m equals to minus 1 satisfies this equation. Because when you will put m equals to 1, this polynomial becomes 0. Right? Again, for m equals to minus 1. 1 plus 0, 1. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Again, for m equals to minus 1, from this we will get m plus 1 equals to 0. So, you can write this polynomial as product of m plus 1 into m plus 1 into m plus 1. Okay. Fine. Now, we'll equate each factor to 0. From that, we'll get 0 roots. We'll get m equals to minus 1 m equals to minus 1, m equals to minus 1. So, m equals to minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 are the roots to the given, not the given, the auxiliary equation. So, we got the roots of auxiliary equation. Here, the roots are equal. We know that when three roots are equal, then the general solution is given by C1 plus C2x plus C3x square. Since three roots are equal, so we'll get three terms under brackets into e power root, that is equal root into x, right? So therefore, the general solution is y equals to c1 plus c2x plus c3x square into e power 
for m equals to minus 1 into x. 1 minus 1 into x is minus x. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. We will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.